sorry about that. <laughs> My iPad just fell. I'm trying to get it to stabilize. Okay, I just want to, uh, I know when I say brief, I usually mean under 30 minutes, but this will not be 30 minutes, okay? Um, for those of you looking to make your own hydration spray for your face, which, you know, you don't want to overdo it either, okay? Just, you know, I use it after I rinse my face in the morning or at night, whatever. Um, and then I'll spritz my face a little bit and then I'll put my face balm on. And if I do wear mineral powder, I will oftentimes spritz it after I'm done and I'll kind of pat away any of the powder that's like in my fine lines or anything. So if you look at them out there, um, some can be quite expensive, okay? And if you look at the ingredients, there's things in there that I don't want on my skin, okay? Preservatives and a whole bunch of other things. So I prefer to make my own, all right? It ends up being a lot cheaper. So a really great thing <clears throat> is this distilled aloe. It's actually fairly reasonable for this huge size. And again, when I say fairly reasonable, I mean compared to buying a hydration spray. Okay, you can just put it into a sterilized bottle with a spray cap and it works great, okay? Uh, what I do is I buy some of these at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls, it's the rose water, and it's pure rose water. There's nothing else in it. There's no alcohol, no preservatives, nothing, just pure rose water, okay? If you are hung up on the whole organic thing, good luck, um, you're gonna pay a ton more money I don't believe in organic anymore unless it's a small farm that I know what they're doing. I just don't trust the label at all. So I just buy what I find that is at least pure, meaning there's no other ingredients added to it. Okay. I like this for the bottle. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll use it a little bit. And then when I create a little space, I'm going to add in some of the aloe. And I also will add in some of this neroli water. Is it orange water? Neroli water? orange blossom water, which is neroli, okay? For those of you familiar with neroli. So again, you can buy this, this is the food grade, okay? So it's not cosmetic, it's food grade. And again, I like to think that, that it's not loaded with, you know, pesticides and whatever, but at least it's real rose water. Okay, it doesn't have anything else in it, no preservatives, no nothing, okay? So what I'll do is I will pour it into here, shake it up, and that's what I will use, okay? So you can use different floral waters. It's just, rose is obviously my favorite for skin. I absolutely love it. Neroli, the orange blossom is super nice, and adding in a little bit of the aloe distilled is super. Now, real aloe vera gel is really nice. You don't want to use that yellowy brown stuff on the... Um, inside the leaf but it's on the outer side of the gel okay you only want to use that clear 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 gel part um, I can't use that around my eyes and I, I'm not really sure why I'm really really sensitive to whatever's in it I can use it on my skin here but I don't use it on my face um, because if it gets too close to my eyes it, it it burns and itches my eyes so I'm definitely sensitive to whatever's in it and this is the distillate okay basically it's the distilled aloe. You end up getting the aloe water. Okay, so it's not water with aloe in it. It's it's the liquid water from the aloe plant. Okay, and it makes a fantastic spritz spray. Okay, so again, I get these at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls because I'm not going to pay full price for it to get the bottle. And then I'm going to add these things to it. Now, <clears throat> after a little while, if you feel like you want to rinse your bottle out, I'll just throw a little bit of boiled water in there and just shake it and dump it. And I'll do it multiple times, spray it to just get out any residue, okay? In case, you know, th this is going to start to break down after a while, but I store my stuff in the fridge. So I have one that I have upstairs that I use all the time, but I do store my stuff in the fridge. So it's going to last a lot longer. And then what I will do is I will just rinse out the bottle. Sometimes I'll rinse it out with the aloe, fresh aloe, like a brand new bottle. Um, throw it in there a couple times, rinse it out, you know, and it just, just flushes out anything that's building up in there. You could use alcohol too, um, but again, if you're gonna use alcohol, you have to dry the bottle really good to make sure you get out 
all the alcohol residue. So that is an option as well, all right? So I'm not a big freak. If I don't break out and if something doesn't bother me, I'm all good. If it doesn't smell bad, I'm good. People ask me all the time, how do you know when your essential oils are bad? And I said, when they smell bad, like when they smell bad, or if it's something you know you can use on your skin and you never have a problem, and all of a sudden you start getting a little bit of tingling or itching or a reaction, it's probably oxidized. Now, saying that, it could be that you're becoming sensitized to it as well, okay? Overusing essential oils, especially using them in too large of an amount over a period of time, can make you extremely reactive to it, okay? So I never suggest that. I always suggest people, if you're going to use them for the right reasons, okay, you don't need to use them for everything. They're medicine, okay? If you're going to use them, use them in very, very small amounts for the appropriate amount of time that you need to use them. And if you do need to use it in a slightly larger amount for like something topical or whatever, do it for a short period of time, okay? Because using them consistently you, your, your body can become sensitized, which means you're gonna use them one day and you're gonna have this hideous reaction, okay? But it also could be because the oil has oxidized as well. Okay, so again, keep that in mind. But because I work with essential oils quite a bit and you know I know what really good quality, fresh essential oils smell like, when they're getting bad, you know. A friend of mine had given me some of her pine um, she had bought some pine and she was cleaning out. She's like, uh, you know, here, take this. And it had like quarter left in the bottle. And I get home and I threw it in the fridge and I kind of forgot about it. And I went to smell it like, oh my God, it was probably like a year later. And it did not smell like pine. Okay, so it's done. <laughs> it, that was gone. Um, so again, if if you know what a really beautiful, fresh, high quality lavender smells like, and then you go to use it a couple months later or six months later or five years later and it just smells funky, don't use it, okay? Same for this as well, okay? Like, this still smells great, okay? Sometimes it starts to get like a little bit of a fermented smell when it starts to get old. Honestly, I generally will still use it. Again, that doesn't make me break out, doesn't give me a rash doesn't cause any problems, I'm inclined to keep using it. That's just me. I'm not telling anyone what to do, okay? <laughs> Definitely not. Um, but anyway, I feel like when you have a good sense of smell and you're really aware of your body, your body does tell you, okay? So I try to pay more attention to that. I'm not like, I'm not a big germ phobe. Anybody that knows me knows that I'm not a big germ phobe, okay? I'm, you know, cautious with some things, you know, but... For most things, I'm just like, my kids used to drink puddle water and pond water when they were little. We've got water that seeps into our yard and forms these big, huge, stagnant ponds. Well, they're not really ponds. They're just humongous puddles. But for a kid, it's a pond. They play in it, drink it. Like, I never stopped them. My kids were never sick when they were little. Like, legit. Never had belly aches. Never had any kind of reaction from it at all. And I'm not saying that they drink gallons of it, don't get me wrong, but you know, they're kids, they're playing and get it in their mouth and they swallow it and never a problem. So I'm not a big germ freak. I think it's absolutely necessary actually for our immune system to harmonize with nature. I believe that. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know. I watch my kids grow up without ever needing to go to the doctors. <laughs> so I don't know. I think it makes kids healthy. I think we need more dirt, not more vaccines. But anyway, that's another story for another time. So. Do it yourself, toner, spritzer, spray, can't beat it. No preservatives, no alcohol, no garbage your skin doesn't need. Okay, signing out.